we are all set up at Ainsley River Crossing. Beautiful spot. Only a couple of real camp areas here where we are and then there's one further up as well. There's Ed out on his kayak. A little bit hesitant about going too far because there are freshwater crocs here. There's a couple floating around out there. The freshwater crocodiles, we've seen about two, three, four, four ish. Um, Mum's looking at bubbles, kind of freaking out. As mums do. We're gonna get the double kayak down at some point. It's on the top of the um, truck at some point. So me and mum can both head out. So just having to take turns. Um, and also because mums looks more appetizing than me. So the crocodiles eat mum first. All packed up and ready to move on. Beautiful spot here overnight. We wasn't brave enough to go swimming with the freshies. So, there we are over in there, all packed up, ready to leave. And I just want to walk across the other side and have a look. Bowen, been here for a couple of days, uh, just getting out today to explore. Come up to Flagstaff Gully, or no, Flagstaff Hill, very windy so hopefully you can hear me. Look out up here is beautiful, so there's a couple of different sections where you can see, but stunning, stunning views. I'll just turn you around and show you what I can see. So there we are. Beautiful. Looking out onto the islands of the Wet Sundays. Just come up to the tower or the tank for a look, but unfortunately. Well and truly surrounded. And I definitely don't think they want you to go in. It's just a slight feeling I have that you're not welcome. Uh, but there it is there. Oh. Pity we can't get in. Or well, the fence wasn't quite so high. Oh, it's a squeezy little glimpse. Yeah, we'll do a sneaky glimpse this way. Ta da! Paint it all the way around, but I don't think we can get around to the other side that easy. Here we are at a beautiful beach in Bowen, just around from Queen's Beach. I can't quite remember what the name of it was, but I'll insert it in the link below here on the screen but it's, it's wonderful we've just been in for a little dip there's Ed Hello. lazing around in the shallows we did try to go for a little bit of a snorkel but the water's a bit murky once you get in and under
actually no dog beach so we don't actually have our dog out here with us Hello. but it was beautiful out here absolutely lovely so the sign says that it's stinger season from November to May and today is the 2nd of November so we are risking it fingers crossed when we got here there was a few other people swimming out over here and I was talking to one guy that had been snorkeling it all out there I don't know how he saw anything but he was out there anyway um, and yeah they said so far so good and we've talked to a few locals here and it's normally towards the end of November that they stop swimming so we figure the 2nd of November we'll take our chances but it is glorious there's a truck parked up there Charlie up there we sat there and had some prawns locally cooked locally caught freshly cooked hi all here we are at Bowen Caravan Park, one of the caravan parks in Bowen. We've been set up here now for the last uh, four days, I think it was. And we're heading on tomorrow. Just heading down to the beach for our nightly walk, taking Rufy for a walk. The birds here at this hour of the night are just to die for. Deafening at times, you come out and you can barely hear yourself talk. Can you see yourself? <laughs> <laughs> got, your, got your welding goggles on again. <laughs> Obviously I'm looking my best. So Charlie was just saying, Dars look this way, give me a big cheesy grin. Oh, oh, someone's been out to impress. <laughs> Oh, he's got his teeth in today. <laughs> Hang on, I better go and check to see who our neighbour is. <laughs> Just a tad windy! from our walk and the birds are really set yeah. in. But if you shotgun here I'd stop the squark and that's for sure. Look at them rainbow lorikeets and well, I think they're all just rainbow lorikeets. Good morning all. Just pulled out of our van at the caravan park in Bowen. I haven't got very far. Hubby's realised that he's possibly left his phone, so he's now walking back. Um, so, hopefully, fingers crossed, he finds that. We're heading on towards Bundaberg today. Uh, obviously, we won't get there today. We'll probably take two or three days to get down there. Um, we'll work our way down the coast and hopefully, we'll see some beautiful sights. The weather has been beautiful here, lovely temperature quite windy um, but still really nice so looking forward for today's trip 
Hello, hello, hello. So we've just arrived at Funderburg Botanic Garden. We're going to go in here and have a bit of a look around. There's also an aviation museum here. Not too sure whether we'll do that today or whether we'll come back and do that another day, but I certainly think we'd like to do it. We're just going to start off taking a bit of a walk around the perimeter and have a look to see what we can see. So some of the first type of plants that are around after the extinction of the dinosaurs. Or was it around the dinosaur period? So mum and mum and I are currently playing a game of beacon, but we actually haven't named it yet. Beacon. Hold the beacon. So basically, when you get these, you have to give it to each other, but you have to hold it for more than ten seconds. So ten seconds or more, you have to hold it. And if it goes off in your hands, the person that has it in its hands loses. Um, and so we just get lunch at. that cafe, whatever that cafe is, and um, yeah, so we just kind of We have a little train track here, apparently it runs Sundays and Wednesdays. Monday. Sunday and Wednesdays, okay, Sunday, isn't it? and That's today silly. is Saturday. So we may come back at the some time while we're here and have a go on the train? Can you swim here? Okay. No. And all the duck poo. So that's a turtles in here. There's one. There's two. There's two. There's one right there. Yeah. And there's some little fluff and balls. There's little fluff balls. <laughs> there's little fluff balls. They're so fucking. Oh. Water hens, chicks, super cute. If I was a and duck, I would live here. I feel like a duck for it and all. A big lizard just in there, on the edge of that, just in there, having a drink a minute ago. Oh, the ducks. So uh, I think a duck. Oh, look, snake. Oh, snake coming in. Let's go and have a look at him. Lucky Dad's not here to see that. I reckon it's an eel. It's an eel. Yeah, big iris. Big eel. Good, Dad's missing out some. As soon as he goes to the loo. Here's another eel coming in. If I was a duck, so I know I've said this like three times already, but a duck is my spirit animal. Duck's your spirit animal? Yeah. When so I the one bat was his When I die, I will turn into a duck. Lizard, lizard in the water. Drag, some sort of drag. Lizard, lizard. You feel the lizard guy, Dad? And we just started at the Botanical Gardens. I just want to be a duck. That so far has been one of the nicer ones we've seen for a while, darling. Yeah, it is. Okay. Here we are, all set up at our next day. So we're now staying at a small farm, house sit, caretake type of thing. So the owners are here half the time they go away for a week every second week basically up to their um, other property um, so while they're away we will do uh, water the garden and collect the mail and um, you know just look after the place in general so we've just set ourselves up in here up in the shed just up there there is a 
toilet and shower that we can use have power on water so we're just outside Bundaberg we're about I think six seven k's out of Bundaberg something like that um, so we'll stay here for a while and we'll explore the region so this is just the back where we are the house is just over in there Ed's happy because there's a pool so and he's already been given the duty of daily hopping in and getting the leaves out which Ed's very very unhappy with not I think Ed made it daily Ed said three times a day actually he would need to cleaning out and checking so. just come for a day drive currently in Childers Childers is it? yeah, yeah. Childers? yeah <laughs> just pulled up here so this is an apex parking spot just on the back street of town so it was that's the main street just there. So it's a nice little area here where it's designed for caravans and some points and all. To be able to come and park while you go and explore the town. So this is a really handy place. Great to see. So it's a Sunday today. Um, not a lot's open. Um, there is a military museum here. Um, Charlie thinks it's good that there's not much open. That means less to spend but we'll go and see haven't found the actual military museum but they do have this little memorial here has just been it was Remembrance Day uh, last week I think so we just went and found the just went and found the museum but it's closed today as we expect Sunday's probably not the greatest day to be out looking for anything but we're just taking a walk back down through the main street of town beautiful little town very busy because the Bruce Highway runs straight through it but still lots of cafes which are obviously all open today so it's been yeah, a beautiful lovely little town to come and visit during the week when things are open Here we are at Barum. What? Barum? Woodgate Beach. Yeah, in Barum though, isn't it or not? I don't know. Woodgate Beach. In Barum. In Barum. In Barum. I don't even know if it's crazy enough, but isn't it? <laughs> so we just Tied pulled down. up and coming down to have a look. Dogs allowed on lead. Beach, long beach. There it is, it goes away. Take the roofie down, Ed. Put the beach way up there. Gate Beach, south of Bundaberg. Yeah, water temperature is about 22, 23. Lovely. Here's the mutt. Um, I don't want to get there, but I don't want to. I'm not looking. 
There'll be crocodiles out there. So I was here a couple of days ago showing you how the river flooded. had flooded oh, yeah. and said that there was a car that went off the into the river. There it is. Well, we come back today, a couple of days later, and there it is in there. If you can see that, I'll try to zoom in. There it is. And there goes it. We're not going to go and see it, just there. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. So there it is. Washed up down there. Looks like a station wagon or some description. Can we go on landing this here? Guys? Just at Bundaberg Barrel, it's called. Doing the free walkthrough. This is pretty cool. This is a um, smelling station, so it has all different flavours. And you press the button, you get the flavour smell. You've got to see whether you can guess what it is. It's very interesting. Just a little mock up of what the actual production line's like. It's a bit of an old rainy day today, so we thought we'd come out for a bit of a drive. Um, and not too far from where we're staying on Wiki Camps was this artwork in the paddock. So we come up to have a look. Looks like there's another tree stump going in, so they're saying something else is going to go up, you reckon, darling? Oh, thank you. Oh, that's right. So it's 192 metres, unsupported, built in 1883-84. Okay, they press here to discover more. Okay then, this heritage listing tunnel is 192 metres in length and is the longest unsupported railway tunnel in Queensland. Oh, 
I can clearly remember the day I saw the new tunnel being... Very pretty town. Can't stop at every single place. What is this coming? That is a long night. I'm thinking Oh, the boys have spotted a tank, so the car come to a scream and halt. And they threw me through the window. Here we are. Rufy's not walking fast enough for Ed. So what type of tank is it boys? Leopard. A leopard. It's the same one that I'm building. All right. And what's the significance of this particular tank here? This leopard AS1 main battle tank was gifted to the Mount Perry RSL sub-branch by the Australian Commonwealth Government on 30th of May 2011 and is situated on land provided by the North Burnett Regional Council. The Leopard Tank is dedicated to the memory of the men and women from this community who have served the nation since World War II in conflict and peacekeeping operations around the world and to those who continue to serve to preserve Australia's freedom. And what's this down here, say, at your feet? Dingle, Mrs. Valerie Dingle. The memory of her father. Private Alfred Ernest. Ernest. Foldy, 9th Australian Infantry. Ninth. It's a memorial park. I have a World War One Turkish, I think it's called Turkish gun captured by the. Australian Light Horse Brigade. Look at him. That's his mouth stretched his, out over right, his, yeah. Right there. See him going? A little possum. It's a fairly big possum. Yeah. <laughs> it was, He's got a bulge all right. Hasn't he? <laughs> He's up to its tail and its leg, back legs now, yeah, so he won't be long in there, but in there, when he gets it in there and gets it down a bit, I'll bag him up. And what type of snake is it? Carpet. Carpet. Just carpet, carpet python. Yeah. And they're not deadly are they? No, no. no. That's the same type in the roof. Yeah. 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 He's a big one. Nice. How much he had down, the possum down, when you noticed him? Oh, probably a quarter if that. Yeah. Been working on it, like yeah. we do, he just keeps moving. Like and how long would you say it's taken him to get that far? Oh, I don't know. How long would you? Well, I saw him probably 20 minutes ago. Okay, yeah, yeah. Wow. 
I mean, imagine you guys eating that much. And he's obviously... Well, he's probably been a good half to three quarters of an hour. Yeah. Trying to get it down, but I didn't think he'd get it down, but jeez, I... I don't know how long he's been there. The birds started squawking and carrying on, and I am out to have a look. Look at him. Expanding, trying to get it down. Wow. If he drops his tail off that... He won't go anywhere. Branch, he might... <laughs> I don't know what he might do. He's a big snake, though. All the flies hanging around, like the yeah. blowies. I don't know whether the he's been how long he's been trying to get it down, but a lot of blow flies. Packed up, ready to go. So we've been here for three weeks. Rained every day. There's been floods. The Thunderbirds getting flooded out. All the local towns are getting flooded out, and we're about to have to move out, really. So. Haven't moved yet. That's how much the truck has sunk before we even attempted to take off with the caravan. So we've put our max tracks out just to start. Just gonna be touch and go. The road out is pretty soft and boggy. So once he gets going, he's not stopping for anything unless he goes down. Flip up the rest of the thing now, Ed. So it's going to be interesting, sadly, fingers crossed we don't make too much of a mess of their lawn and driveway, but I don't think it's going to be pretty. So here we go, hubby's in, it's just the momentum of getting the van moving in the first place, so it's a... Yes, 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 yes. Ah, shit. Well, we've got to that far and we crossed this little creek just here and down she went. That's going to be, that's a near on impossible, isn't it? Sadly, I think we are going to make a mess of their driveway. I think we'll be staying here fixing driveways. Bring it out. She's well and truly down. Holy hell, I'd have to get out of that. Is that next track in here? Yeah. yeah. We've got the wheels dug out. Winched onto a tree over there. And cut this one down as well. She's low, look at that, the dip and everything's sitting on the ground. Not going to be pretty at all. So from my distance I believe the winch was, I don't know, um, what's the word, slipping. So they had to pull the bull bar forward to be able to just, I don't know, do something to winch to make a grip again. Looks like they're all going. So far, tempers are calm, which is a bonus. You know, if okay. you did that, you'd come around and buddy go over. Yeah. So it's pulling against itself like that, and that, that and lay it that one in. It should. Go Traditionally, you only had to have three wraps around a drum. Yeah. That's all. Yeah, it's so slippy, that stuff. Yeah. Oh, that bloody rope's very slippery itself. Yeah, that's the problem. Right, go around to here, please. Just uh, take... In, you mean? In, yeah. 
Keep going. No. Hang on. I'll just oh, you can't go around and then tie a knot or something, and even though it'll roll a big ugly, well, then it might all bunch up. Yeah. I was trying to get it so that it yeah, actually if you can do, do, put pulled on of, itself. Uh, yeah, yeah, so it pulled, pulled on, on itself. Yeah. Yeah. Which is what I had with my other one. Go the opposite go way. Go the other way. way. Yeah. It's very, very uh, mined. Um, how do you put it? Well, you get under there, get him off, Where's that boy of mine? Oh. There he is. Right, got him. Hang on, you caught around that thing. So, if I get around that way, over there. The hell? Yeah, pull that through. Like that. And that should be backwards then when it winds, shouldn't it? Yeah, should be. So, what has happened is whole winter snap now. So, no good. One thing or another. Uh, even stuff. So, I think we're now getting a vehicle, just a <clears throat> four wheel drive. I think we're pretty close, so they're gonna give it one last shot with the vehicle. I'll go a little bit more. Tricky is how the caravan's gonna go. The caravan will probably come up through here. It may slip down in those tracks or could come up through here more. Should probably sink too. Ask the drag. Anyway, there we go. So there's three, two vehicles on the go. Move this out of the way. Right, so here we are. We've got Peter's truck up there. We've got another four wheel drive here, all hooked up. We're all going. Fly your horn, darling! Okay. 
nearly got there. <laughs> yeah. Come on, hey, get your muscles in, da. Have you tried? There's another Mack truck under here somewhere. It's like five meters. Here we go again. The boys are going there. Here's the result of our stay. A little bit more damage. Trying to get it out. Through here. Looks like the boys are still trying to dig out the max tracks. Oh. Yeah. worked, he wouldn't have gone out without them. No. Oh. Do. Sorry? Did you pull him? Pass it over to me. No. And we'll flip him over. There you go. There you go. As for the next one, I don't know. You'd probably make it. Yeah, let's not try with our luck today, shall we? Uh oh. It's a worry for a start, he's coming back. Fingers crossed. Tight coming in, I can tell you that.